Let's go to the first one. Uh, expertise number one. <laughs> your ex of 10 years has passed away. Do you attend the funeral? No. Oh, well, <gasps> well, well, don't boo my dear guest, but you gotta give me some reasoning here. Um, well, I mean, I think it has to depend on the situation. Depends on the situation. I was with someone for eight years. Oh my goodness. I married them. Wow. Yeah, and they ended up cheating on me. If he died, I wouldn't go to his funeral. Well, I can't ask why, I get it, but. Well, we're not on terms like that. I mean, he's already dead to me, so. My ex. I don't know. That's another question. <laughs> That's another question I asked on a previous season. I, I, I asked, can your ex be dead? to you, and I'm guessing you're saying yes. Absolutely. Okay, yeah, mainly in that harsh condition. Gone. Um, yeah. I, I guess my only reasoning, I mean, I kind of agree with you, but like you said, it does depend on the situation. Some exes in civilly. I, yeah, you know. I mean, like if this was a civil, like, and they were together for 10 years, and they pa like he passed away, and they still loved each other, yeah. and like we're still friends, then yeah, of course, yeah. I would go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I guess my thoughts, you did love this person at one point. Yes. And even though the love is gone, it's I not even, you know, didn't, even if you didn't, I guess if you had children, you'd go to support your children. Yeah. But that's different. So no, no children in the picture. You loved them. You probably, after 10 years, you got to know his family. Would you be there to support the family? Or you're like, no, he's dead to me, so everybody else is dead to me. Oh, that's, yeah. Really? Yeah. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm just wondering. I'm just wondering. I mean, oh. an ex is an ex for a reason. That's true. Know? That's true. And like we said, it does depend on the situation. Does it? Okay, so an ex of ten years yeah. has passed away. Do did they like know? suddenly pass away as soon as they were? You're like you're at, like. I, I think we'll like, make it for the purposes of this conversation. Let's go with that first. Yes, they did pass away suddenly. Like right when you broke up. No, no. What? Oh, that's actually a good point. No. Yes. Wow. Because were they together deep. for ten years, and then he passed away, like right after, t like, or was this ten years ago? No, no. So you dated him. So let's say okay. 2020, 2011, you started yeah. dating. Twenty twenty one, last month, he he went to probably hell. Of dirty dog cheating. Don't cheat. <laughs> uh, 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 I'm not you know, God forgive. But um, okay. So do you attend the funeral? He just died last month. And we were just together. You were just together, but he cheated. He, he was a dirty stick. Yeah, I would probably go. Okay. So the time, may, so, so even though- I think it's, it's a, like where I am now versus I think there's like time definitely. Yeah. I don't know. I feel difference. like if you go through something like that, like right off the bat, you still have so many feelings for this person. Yeah. So yeah. you have to, like what, no matter what they did. Yeah. So you kind of have to go through the motions. But now here I am six years out of that. Yeah. Like I would, we don't. I mean, I wouldn't, if he died, I probably wouldn't even know. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So he really is dead erased. Yeah. From, from yeah, absolutely. Clap that up. I respect that, Ash. You know, when they, when they cheat on you, that just, that's almost yeah. the worst thing. That, one of the worst. Okay, we won't go too crazy. I do want to ask a crazy question. And if Ash doesn't want to, would you rather them cheat on you or stay in a toxic relationship with them where they say not nice things and do not nice things? Would you rather them cheat and it be done or stay in a toxic relationship? But they don't cheat on you in the toxic relationship. Um, I would rather them cheat and leave. If we're choosing between I agree. Us two. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Because I think it's better that you don't hurt me yeah, in that way. Yeah, toxic relationships are... They're not no. good relationships. No. I, I feel like they do more harm than... They do, than the cheating. Because, I mean, cheating. you will be broken, you will be sad, but you'll move on. Yeah. I mean, look at how wonderful... You made it! Clap it up for Ash! She made it! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> Victory. Let's go to the next expertise. Uh, oh, goodness gracious. Your ex has squatter's rights and will not leave after you kick them out of your apartment. Ash, that's a messy one. That is a messy one. Be good, the live studio audience is booing as they should. Um, what do you think? I mean, you're, you know, squatter's rights in LA, is, uh, California is a real thing. And if someone's living in a certain spot, even if they don't pay their rent, they have like three months to kind of stay until the actual you know, police, whoever they kicks them out. Oh yeah, so LA gosh. gets really, the politics, ugh. That sounds so terrible. your ex was living with you and you're doing your best to get him out, but he has squatter's rights legally. Uh, about three months, what are you gonna do? Leave. You're gonna leave your own apartment? Yeah. 
what you want to go at? No, don't leave your house, girl. You don't leave your spot. I just, I'm one of those people where I'm just like, if you want to be stupid, be stupid, be stupid. but I'm going to leave. And then when you have to, I don't know, if he was going to be that ridiculous and stay for three months, then he can stay for three months and then I'll go and do something fun and stay somewhere else and then in three months kick him out and come back. Clap, Who cares? Clap, but where are you going to go for three months? I mean, anywhere. You're balling like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Then well, we, no, we I'm need not. to stay connected. <laughs> <laughs> if you could just leave three months, I'm like, please, I, let me just be on the road, I'll wash your car, clean the tires. <laughs> no, I mean, it's just, I know, I mean, even like a night, that's why I had to make it. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah, but the squatter's you know? rights legal thing, three months, if it was just a night, it'd be like, okay, fine. Yeah. You're here for the night, but, you're but three months? And like, you know, breakups are difficult, so. Yeah. You know, you got it like the other person has to figure out where they're going and like I understand that. I think it just depends on like the dynamic of the relationship. Yeah. If they were like toxic and like really scary yeah. and and yeah, that was the case almost... and they weren't staying and it was like a violent situation. Oh, then, then you like, get yeah, then you get or, a little That'd probably be a you little know, different. I think it depends on the situation. That's, that is a good point too. It does depend on the dynamic. It does depend on how things move, but I just feel like cheating is one of the worst. But toxic, Absolutely. you could you could tell the police like, hey, this yeah. person abuses me. They cannot stay in my home. And I think yeah, so that would probably you'd have get to, them but out. I don't know. Would like, you lie though? Say they weren't, but would you lie and say yes, he does, just to get him out? No. Clap it up! I love her integrity. I love it. I love it. Let's go to the next category of the show. This is a crazy one, Ash. Awkward affection. So what this category it's does is it allows us to uh, look at. Uh, comments that people make, very awkward comments. As you oh, know, wow. on Instagram, there are certain uh, baddies yeah. uh, that post pictures yeah. of themselves, and, and some are looking snatched, as the kids will say. Uh, but then there are uh, people that comment things, and it's our job to take real comments, Ash, and we're going to analyze and see, was this appropriate? I'm so excited. Was this awkward? <laughs> was it crazy? Let's get right in, Ash. <laughs> Ash is excited. I'm excited. The guest is excited. Let's go to the first one. Your man, 8,000. Oh my God, girl, you are a perfect 10. You have a gorgeous, sexy, toned body. Oh, heart, 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 Ash, is this awkward? Um, since it's like, I mean, I don't know. I don't think it is. You don't think so? I mean, it's unnecessary. Okay. More clap, than anything. Clap for the unnecessary, uh, yeah. And okay. kind of ridiculous. But I don't know, I get comments like that all the see, time. See, see, and what do you do? See, now ignore that guy one them. like, do you ignore them, so you don't Absolutely. like them? Absolutely. Okay. No, they that's just... That's good, clap that up, because it's kind yeah. of weird. That's what it I'm is saying, weird. it's awkward affection. It's like, I'm all it, for you showing that you appreciate... But I don't even think about it twice, so... Think about it twice. Yeah, okay. I just, I let them do their thing. And, yeah, at least you, you, you wouldn't know. block... Okay, well, we might get to some crazy ones where you would have <laughs> We'll see. So your man 8,000 is not your man. This is tame. This is tame. Okay, clap it up for tame. Clap it up for tame. Let's go to the next one. Uh, tongue emoji, uh, multiple times. Then we have hermosa que rica estas, which I mean, which I believe, beautiful. You, you're very beautiful, something like that. And then the bottom, uh, you are a beauty of a woman and very sexy from Navarro two five four with a very creepy profile picture. Uh, what do you think? Now, now I want to start with that tongue emoji. What is up? This is a great, emoji? accurate representation of the internet. Oh, I like that. So some, <laughs> some are, I think the tongue is not appropriate. No, it is not appropriate. Because that shows you want, you're licking. Yeah. And that's already too far. I yeah. don't know you. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Hermosa que rica estas. You're beautiful. I think that's kind of the same as the bottom yeah. comment. Uh, what really creeps me out, though, are, are profiles like Navarro254. Oh, yeah. Where it's older, and I'm sure you get those. Yeah, it's older all the men. time. Uh, and then they like their own comments, so I think yeah. it ranks higher in the algorithm. <laughs> so they try to get it seen so you can see it. <laughs> I just don't know why they take those weird profile pictures. Those weird profile pictures are not slapping. No. You know, I always wonder, like, when these people post this stuff under people's, like, what do you think is going to happen? What do you think? Like, are do you, you think this, this, obviously, this stunning person that yep. they think, this woman that they think is so beautiful, Nika. you know, what, do they think this woman is going to slide in their DMs and be like, That's what's up? That's my confusion. I don't get it. Like, at least, like, have money in your profile picture. At least act like you're balling. Even then. Still no. No. 
Okay. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> right, let me see. Let me see. Oh, oh no. We're gonna go two more. Oh snap! I'm going off. We're gonna go two more. 